What was it like working with Elliot? Oh yeah, I mean, it was magical, right? <laughs> it was so magical, um, which is tricky. You know, I mean, he is a 20 foot tall fuzzy green, sometimes invisible dragon. <laughs> There's specific challenges. He presents a production, like hair and makeup. You know, I never thought that I'd be bringing one of these bad boys to work, but it's just, you know, we're doing what we can. We're talking a lot of hair. Like, it gets everywhere. <coughs> it's in your clothes, your hair, USB ports, uh, your mouth, forget about it. Hairballs all day long. So it makes it tough to date. What we use is the uh, traditional dragon training horn. That's the uh, command for sit. I have experience working with giant reptiles. It's not like it's the first time I've had to share space with a giant co-star. This is my wheelhouse, but some of the other cast and crew, they've really had to adjust. Like when it's time for lunch, you're gonna wanna be first in line. Yeah, the invisible thing is something that people have to get used to, but uh, when you've been doing it, as long as I've been doing it, it's easy. But at the end of the day, it's a magical, magical dream come true. <laughs> Did he just sneeze a fireball behind me? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. That sometimes happens. Should probably wrap this up. Dangerous, right? <laughs> it's a fire. <laughs>